All right. I want to thank the person who asked, when is it time to move on from your one-to-one -one coach or mentor or healer or counselor, facilitator, therapist? <laughs> you can you can add on and on. Your one-to-one -one service provider. Um, but specifically, this person is asking coach slash mentor, when is it time to move on? And I want to actually open this up for discussion. Those of you who are watching this, I welcome you to comment below. What do you think? Uh, some of you have currently a one-to-one -one coach or mentor. When do you think it's time to move on? Or you've had the, you've had them in the past, and when did it feel like the right time to move on? Did when you did move on, did you feel like it was the right choice? Did you feel like you spent too long with them? Was it too short? What are your thoughts? And you can also respond. Well, I think many of you watching this are also providing one-to-one -one mentoring or coaching services. And it's probably biased because you'll say, never. Next lifetime, maybe. Right? <laughs> it's like, or maybe I can continue on because then you know business for, for multiple lifetimes. I don't know. Uh so what do you think about that? I think that's a that's a too biased of a of a you know from from that hat, you know, you said forever. Um, never, but uh, but as a client, uh, as a student, as a mentee, uh, when's the time to move on? Go ahead and chat below and share with us your response. All right, so I'll share my personal views. Again, positive recording if you want to share your views before you hear mine. I think it's better to, to be unbiased and share your views first before you get biased by mine. Um, okay, so my I've always been quite impatient with one-to-one -one coaching, mentoring, when it doesn't have a package attached to it. So that's the that's the key. Again, I'm talking about myself as a client, okay? Uh, and this is applicable for probably as you as a coach and mentor as well. But if there's no package, if I didn't sign on for, all right, we're going to do three sessions, 12 sessions, six months, three months, a year, whatever, then I'm pretty impatient. And I'm like, it's not that I I didn't I demand results like it's been the second session and my life has not been changed. What the hell? You know, no. But if I'm feeling like I'm not sure if this is super helpful, or I'm when I when I when I look at the upcoming meeting that I have, like I look at my calendar and say, so, Oh yeah, I have I have my time with my coach or mentor. And I'm feeling like, oh, and if I'm not like super looking at like, oh, I can't wait, then I personally feel like it's time to move on. If I feel like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I wish it was sooner. Then it's probably a pretty good sign that I should keep going. <laughs> you see what I mean? But yeah, if I feel like, oh yeah, I, I'm if 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 I at any point I feel like, well, I should I should stay with this person to financially support them. It's definitely time to move on. And yeah, you might say, well, sometimes you do want to financially support someone. Like you're kind of making an excuse to say, well, I mean. I guess they're pretty good. Like they do help me in this way. Like if you feel yourself justifying, here's the thing. There are a million other mentors or coaches who would love to have your financial support and who with whom you might really look forward to every single session and who might be, might give you a different perspective that you really need at this point. Like why stick with one? unless you feel like you have some karmic <laughs> contract with them. Well, maybe it's time to break that karmic contract. You, know, you can always renegotiate soul contracts, by the way. Um, but like I said, I, I'm being facetious here. If you feel any bit of a hesitation about the upcoming sessions and you didn't sign up for a package, well, I think it's time to move on. You should try different perspectives, different energy in your life, different mentorship, different coaching. It really can make a difference for you to try someone else. I always feel like it's better to try multiple people instead of, you know, always sticking with one person for years. Um, you know, my, my, my wife disagrees. I mean, I think she's, this is the good thing about her. She's extremely loyal. So that's good for me, but she's had the same providers for like over a decade. I'm like, when are you going to move on? <laughs> like we basically have a tax in our, in our life. This person is just a tax on her. I mean, not a tax. I'm, I think of it as I'm, I'm not going to make her move on because, you know, we've had, we've had arguments about this before. I'm like, Oh, this is basically a, I'm going to name the person say, let's say her name is Jane. We have a Jane tax. That's all I think of it. Like when I look at my bank statement, Oh, that's, that's the Jane tax being, being married to my wife. But yeah, it's like, it's like, I think 
it's better to have new blood and and new new experiences um so i hope this is helpful but like i said the flip side of being a coach and mentor means um you know i think you should sell packages or or you should sell group programs right where there's like a like a beginning and end and be more like even when i'm a mentor or coach i'm also impatient i like to fire people gently of course but like people like stick to me and like when i had one on one clients that like stick to me like try to stick to me for years i'm like you know what i think it's time for you to move on why don't you take this course of mine and here's somebody else I think you should try as a one-to-one. -one. <laughs> like I'm really impatient as a coach myself because I want people to. And then my one of my clients said, oh, you're pushing me. You're like, you're pushing the bird out, out of the nest. I'm like, yeah, it's time to learn to fly, you know, or or check out another nest <laughs> or something like that. So, So that's my opinion. And I hope this is helpful in some way. I look forward to seeing your comments below.